Welcome to Tamara Tattletales. I'm Tamara and I spill the tea on your favorite reality stars. We've all seen footage of residents from Louisiana fleeing the state to escape Hurricane Ida. If you're wondering how Married at First Sight New Orleans cast season 11 and Yara and Jovi from 90 Day Fiance are doing, who stayed, who evacuated, and where, I got you. Let's take a look. Armani and Woody, they fled by driving to Houston and shared some video of their experience. We leaving y'all. So don't stress out. We just sitting in traffic. I hope I don't meet nobody named Ida. Cause Ida the hurricane got me really with an attitude right now. That was the longest trip of my fucking life. Excuse me for cussing, but for real. A five hour trip to 12 fucking hours. Hurricane Ida, you're on my list. Right along with Hurricane Sally from last year to drop the ruin Virgo season. You won't prevail, ho. H Town, what's popping tonight, man? I need a big old drink. Me and the wife. We've been on the road dealing with y'all for 12 hours, dealing with these people from the city and all this traffic. What y'all got for us? I need something. ASAP, I'm about to hop in the shower and shake back. What y'all got for your boy? In the paper, put my put my problems, problems, paper, dial up the deputy. I think it's safe to say that they're doing okay. Karen and Miles, they escaped by plane. They flew to Austin. The last week for me has been freaking crazy. This one right here. She's over me right now because I had us go out of town for some business. Come back Friday to go to work. And then now the storm's kicking us back out. So we can back out and get out of here again. And I wanted to stay. She wanted to stay. She'll be all right. But this, that was, I typically, I typically make sound decisions. I'm glad I went to work yesterday. And wish I would have stayed where we was at. But it is what it is. It's about to have a little vacay. So we made it to Austin safely. Thanks y'all for being concerned. Y'all, I'm still drinking, so you know my nerves. And then look who back there. He's living his best life right now. Who are you talking to? Looks like they're doing the opposite of Armani and Woody. They are just chilling. Amelia and Bennett. If you haven't heard, these two broke up months ago. Bennett claims that she, quote, left me. Anyway, Bennett hasn't checked in on social media, although he's not very active, so it's not unusual. Amelia hasn't checked in either. However, it's reported that she's been living in Virginia at the moment. Fingers crossed that these two quirky folks are doing okay. Christina and Henry. Miss Christina moved to Mexico. I believe she's in Marina Vallarta. She's checked in there quite a bit. She has reposted opportunities to help those who have been affected by Ida. Fortunately for her, she's not one of them. Henry evacuated to Austin. One of his posts says, making the best out of Ida. Let's get weird. <laughs> okay, Henry, you first. The following day he posted, 
you know you're at a hotel bar in Texas when trying to show us a little sense of humor there. I see you, Henry. Olivia and Brett, do you remember them? I barely remember this couple for some reason. Is it just me? Anyway, Olivia posted this before she evacuated. From my front porch, we'll try to update as the storm comes through pending internet and power. Not too bad as of now. She didn't mention where she was going to evacuate, but the next day she posted, I'm safe, haven't heard about my house. We'll be staying put until safe to go back home. Thank you for all of the messages. As for Brett, he appears to be a Louisiana resident still, but hasn't checked in on Instagram. Stay safe, Brett, even though I don't remember you. 90 Day Fiance's Yara and Jovi are Louisiana locals as well. Fortunately, Jovi is not away for work. They evacuated to Dallas, but before they left, Jovi posted this message. Just wanna say thanks to everyone who's concerned about our well-being during this storm. Thanks so much for the support and all the offers for places to stay. We appreciate it more than any of you will ever know. We are going to start driving in a couple of hours and we'll try to make the best of this terrible situation. So guys, quick update till I'm feeling Myla. We don't leave yet because the traffic are just so much horrible. When we will leave Jovi? It is not early in the morning. I'll start to freaking out because I was the know that the hurricane is coming and now everybody is calling me and telling me how much bad it is and now I'm freaking out and I want to leave already. Well, good morning. Good morning. We are driving. Stuck in traffic. And stuck in traffic, of course. Well, it's okay. This is not for you, she child. Wants to leave it down too. That's not yours. She said it is mine if I wanted to be. Excuse me, you're too small for I that. Say it's mine, Mama. Especially this one I love so much. Jovi's parents, Monty and Gwen, evacuated to Austin. Kind of wanted to give y'all an update. Um, we're at a hotel. We're good. We're out of arm's way. I don't know if we're gonna have a house. It's materialistic, but it's scary to think that everything you've worked for is gonna be gone. <clears throat> Maybe it won't. I'm gonna try to be positive. I can't change it. So um, I appreciate all the prayers you're sending and we're just gonna pray for the best. Thank you so much. For everyone who has been affected by Hurricane Ida, I pray that you are safe and that your beautiful cities will be restored quickly and with ease and grace. Oh my.